Hey everybody, Patty Tolly Parish here from www.inkyobsessions.blogspot.com. Um, a lot of you have probably seen that I was uh, I had posted some a new blog post about my jelly journals. Love saying jelly journals, jelly journals, jelly journals. Kind of rolls off the tongue. Um, but I finally trying to figure out something to do with my jelly prints, and I was on a um, a little art retreat weekend with um, a great group of ladies. Um, so much fun to be with fun people, good spirited people, funny and uh, like minded, and uh, just relax and craft your brains out. So I decided I was going to try to do something with these jelly prints or bust. Mm. So, um, I'm going to show you a quick flip through. I'm going to make this not such a long, lengthy, blathering video. I'm going to turn the camera around here, hopefully. You don't want to see my pretty painting shirt. Dave and I were in the garage this evening trying to prep for our uh, garage sale. Let me see how I can do this. This is going to go, the screen's going to go blank on me for a minute here and a minute, and then I won't know what the hell I'm doing. So let me try to get this lined up so I can figure out where I need to be for this. So this is actually the first one that I made. And I love this fabric. Um, added some little trinkety beads, some seed beads, and some little, um, I think they're lucite actually. But my favorite turquoise color. Um, and in this one, well all of them, I put a, a jelly print in as the cover, the inside cover. You can see it's the same print front and back here and here where I covered it and here's the little envelope that I put in and I added the little um, added the little circles it's just a coin envelope but I used the wax linen and tied on um, the little tabs here to make it one of I don't know what the hell is this called I don't know what they're called but anyway that's what I made and then I kind of uh, just grabbed a bunch of jelly prints I have three signatures Let's see if you can see them in there there you go three signatures um, and each one is five eight and a half by eleven double-sided jelly print so um, one signature gives me ten pages but it's actually twenty if you'd count them like a book like you know one two three and I, I put some pages in that were very lightly designed like this to leave more white space um, at first, I wasn't going to put those in, unlike this one. That's just one pull. Um, but I thought, you know, you don't always want a busy background. Sometimes you want a little bit more white space. So I kind of rotated them, you know, flipping them through. I've never done a flip through before. I guess I just flip through. <laughs> and here's uh, the center. I just did a pamphlet stitch. You can see the black thread down the center here. And I just left one of the strands long. And... That's what I tied the beads to. So there's three because there's one out of each signature. So that's kind of how I did it. Are you guys seeing this? I don't... Okay. Hopefully you are. Oh! This is tricky. And in a minute, when my timer goes off, I'm going to be look, doing this in a black screen, so I'll probably be off the frame. Oh, and there it goes now. Oh, okay. I can touch it and come back. Okay. It's going to be a little jerky here probably, but... That's a me, a little jerky. So now you can see the opposites here from, you know, where the signatures, the pages are folded, right? So you see the opposites. And there's the opposite of that page. Signature number two. You know, you don't have to repeat all these and look at every single page. You've probably seen some of these jelly prints off of previous um, videos that I've done. But like I said, some of them I chose, like, busier prints. Um... But they're kind of like an instant background book, you know? I mean, you come out to, you know, the art journaling people, you know, it, a lot of our time is spent uh, figuring out a, a background. And here you don't have that white page syndrome where you're afraid to touch the book. It's already kind of done for you. So that was my thought, what I would do with these. And by jiggities, that's what I did. Um, there's another center one in my... Another center, center, center string for the beads. Badass stencil. Recognize it? Yep. Oh, speaking of badass stencils. Mm, got another 
Um, I'm going to do a little teaser coming up in the next few days or maybe by the weekend um, for another little eye stencil surprise. So if you thought the deal last time was a good deal, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay tuned. Something very special is coming and not just the discount code. So um, anyway, there's the spine. Where are you? There we go. Where I sewed in the three signatures. Um, and I did all the books like this. So you'll see the next couple, I've tied some some bits on the side. So the next one I did was this one. And I love this fabric. I don't know if it shows up. I got little pieces of the sorry stuff as like little hairs all over everything. Um, but this, let me see if I can try to get this. I don't know what the light's doing there. Take Dramamine, please. Ah. And here the back's got more of the orange on it. It's just a mix of oranges, reds, and greens. But circles and really, oh, I love this fabric. Oh, I got these uh, fabrics. They're batiks handmade from um, artistic artifacts. If anybody's going to Art and Soul, any of the Art and Soul retreats, but I'm going to the one at the end of this month. Um with a couple girlfriends um, in Virginia Beach. And they actually moved their store on site to the Art and Soul Retreat. So you can go in and shop like you're at their store in outside of D.C. Um, and I've been there, and it's really a cool shop. I've been there for classes, actually. Um, but so this is the second one. And we're, it's got the same stitching on the outside. But I had a bunch of sari ribbon. I mean, a bunch um, that I got off Etsy. I think I got it from Etsy. Uh, and I just tied a bunch that were kind of like the, you know, matching colors and just tied them. And I was, I didn't know if I should leave them long or dangly. And my friend Ellen Vargo was with us this weekend and she said, oh, why don't you cut them off and make them just kind of tufted up there? And I love it. Brilliant idea. Can't claim that credit. And then my friend Donna Walsh, said, why don't you use the ribbon and make a page marker? Ha! Ah, so I did. So, I mean, it's so cool, but I tied a little couple little beads on here just because I could, I guess. I don't know. They don't serve any purpose, and you can hardly see them, but I know they're there. So here's the, um, I put this orange on the inside. Are you seeing that? There's so much glare, and it's PBO, so it's really shimmery. Um, and again, you know, same thing, three signatures. That worked out really well for those folders. Um, I'm not going to take the time to go through every single page, but you kind of get the picture, right? So these I just cut to a regular length in here since I didn't dangle any beads off of this one. Um, I love that page. It's one of my faves. Um, you know, but I just have them... Rotated in their kind of colors that would kind of go together. That's another one of my favorites in there. It's a the center. That's the blue black blue black PBO. Um, some more copper. You know, all that kind of stuff. And the back cover of that one. Oops, there you go again. Okay. All right, that was number two. I'm going to show you something. I'll pull this folder out to remind me because God knows in two minutes I'll forget it. Here's the one that, um, the sorry stuff, I'm telling you. Kind of sorry I used it. Ah! Oh, Lord, I entertained myself. Um, it's just kind of fly away everywhere. Um, so here's the one you saw me make on the blog post that I did the tutorial on. I actually did these two first, and I was so excited about doing them, I densed out and forgot to take pictures for the blog, and I thought, crap, now i got to make a third one. So I made a third one, and this is the third one. So same deal, three signatures, tied in a couple ribbons that matched, put in one long one for a page marker, but this one I also tied some, uh, some beads off the strings. There we go. I don't know if they're showing up very well, but you know, they're colors that are in here. And I put another, um, this is the lining I chose for this one. Um, you can see it front and back. That's the same one. That was a cleanup pull that came out really kind of cool, actually. 
another little envelope here. What the hell I'm going to put in there? I have no clue, but I had them and I thought it was cute and by jiggities, I did it. Um, but, you know, some, again, fairly blank, but still not white pages and some really full. You can just, you know, collage over it or, you know. Uh, oh, my 3D eye stencils. Mm. Keep that word in mind, people. And keep your eye on me in the next several days to a week. You don't want to miss it, trust me. It's a doozy. And I don't use that term loosely. And that one's kind of cool, too. I like that orange. Can you see that? I don't know how many people have fallen off their chairs yet trying to watch this. I'm kind of afraid to watch it back. I'm not sure I can take it. This one turned out kind of cool, too, with that turquoise over that copper. There we go. Get a little bit of that shimmer. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So, there you go. That was number three. And then I thought, you know what? I want to make some more, but I'm kind of tired. It was exhausting, really, thinking that brain power into that figuring. Oh, See, almost forgot. What I wanted to show you was, th these are the plain manila folders that I use. They're just, they're heavy duty. Um, so they're pretty substantial. But in the, the ribs in here, can you see that? Can I see that? Is that focusing? Where, you know, if you've got a, a load in the folder and you want to, they're scored. And you can fold it so that your folder would be flat and hold more content. Well, don't you know, they're scored, so there's three even marks in there. Worked out perfectly for my three signatures. That's the happy accident I talked about. I'd like to take credit for being that smart, but that would be a flat-out lie. So, the couple that I wanted to whip up, I took my cinch binder, um, and I learned a couple lessons with these because these are a little not just right, uh, and I'll show you why. Um, so I used black cardstock. And where are we? Here we go. Keep that going. Um, this is that uh, Viva Decor hologram gel. That is the coolest stuff. Oh, there was a good shot. Um, and that's through a... Um, just took my palette knife and scraped it over a stencil love that stuff and these are just cinched so oh it's backwards um and i just so for this i cut my eight and a half and elevens in half and i had an eight and a half eleven piece of cardstock and i cut that in half as well therein lies the mistake um and i put i tried to try to put coordinating colors you know side by side wherever whenever I could do something like that. Are you seeing that? I'm not so good at the flip-throughs. I'm, I'm detecting that's not my, my forte, my strong suit. But anyway, they're just, you know, a bunch of them in there. But I think I put too much of a bunch in there because um, the pages... Where are we? See the end there? The, the black cardstock... Oh my, we're backwards again. I'm going to kill myself with this thing. Um, the cardstock is a little bit farther around uh, the coil. If I'd have taken a few, and I still might take a few out of here. I just, I overloaded it. I measured it and it sounded like it was going to be right for the size coil that I, I think this was a 5 eighths for the size coil that I used, but it, it ended up too many of them. I think if I had this many out, then it would close up really neatly and um, the black would at least be the same length as this. I should have really cut it another uh, quarter inch or so off of a bigger piece of, of, of uh, the uh, chipboard that was black, but I didn't. I'll have to live with it. And here's the other one that I made. This one just has a ribbon I had um, out of my jewelry stash, actually. And I took a couple, I love turquoise and purple together. And a uh, little PBO shimmer on here. So I took my circle punch. Love me some circles. Got to tell you. Um, and just, you know, decorated the card, the uh, cardstock. Actually, to show you what a Nimrod I am, 
Um, I don't know why I fess up all this stuff. It's like I'm in a confessional. Whew, if I ever went to a confessional, I'd have to take a bag of lunch and buy dinner for the priest. Um, I didn't realize that I had black chipboard with me. This was an off-white chipboard. And I was saying to Ellen, man, I wish I would have... I thought about it. It would be really cool if this was black. And she said, well, why don't you use black gesso? So she gave me her black gesso, and I painted this baby all up. And then Doug, looking for something else to make, and found out that I had black stock. Oh, God. But anyway, um, this one came out a little bit more even when they all lay in there just right. I got it kind of fluffed around from shipping it. Um, it's not quite as off. You know, I got a few less in here, in other words, is what I'm trying trying to say in my version of whatever English is. And, you know, again, just some random pages cut in half, punched. I really like that cinch tool. That was so cool. Um, you know, don't have to see every page. You've probably seen me make half of these things anyway. But there you go. My jelly journals. Up close and personal. I've actually had a couple of people want to buy them, and um, I'm going to make one with plain paper for a friend of mine that that uh, contacted me on Facebook. That's um, a very oh my god, the jewelry Lexi Erickson. If you don't know Lexi Erickson, her jewelry is oh. When I used to design jewelry, I used to buy her videos and watch them. She's really talented, and I was floored that somebody of her caliber contacted me and wanted to buy one for a sketch journal for herself so I'm going to make her one um she wants this uh wants one in this fabric but I'm going to get some uh nice um she said she wanted some kind of toothy plain paper so I'm going to find some nice paper and make her one like that uh for her sketchbook to sketch out her jewelry designs and thoughts and stuff as they occur to her she makes some really cool stuff a lot of um what is that caveman -y looking stuff? Petroglyph. Um, she was a, I forget what kind of a professor she was or something before she designed jewelry. Anyway, um, enough about Lexi. But Lexi, if you're looking, God, I love your stuff. And I'm so honored that you wanted to uh, put your next sketch, sketchbook in my hands. And I'm going to get that out to you as soon as I can. Uh, but anyway, there you go. This one's just cinched. Really easy, cool tool, man. Whip this together and just, you know, th what takes the longest is cutting these papers in half. Other than that, punch, punch, whammo, zammo, boom, bang, you got yourself a journal. So, all right, I promise to keep it short. That's about as short as I can do. That's almost 20 minutes. So, I'm going to wrap it up. And get this online for you guys tonight if I can, and I'll talk to you. So, oh, Christ, I'm looking at myself again. I should be looking at the camera. I cannot. I'm going to have to draw eyeballs up here at the top of my screen or something so I remember to look up there. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the nice comments about my uh, jelly journals. Say that three times fast. Jelly journals.